What's up dudes and dudes in the internet, my name's Scythe and this is going to be a different tutorial because lots of people have actually been requesting me to show off how I actually end up censoring out the chat in my Let's Play series of Trove and I, I think that this will end up helping a lot of other YouTubers out there because honestly speaking all the tutorials that I've seen are very very lengthy so it's very very simple all you're going to end up doing is just taking your first layered video file uh, you can ignore all these settings it's just brightness and saturation hold alt click and drag it into the second video layer and and then for the effects, you're gonna want to go for tracking mate key. You're gonna throw that onto the layer, and then you're also gonna be looking for the Gaussian blur. Uh, and make sure that the Gaussian blur is underneath tracking mate. And then for tracking mate, you're gonna select the video three as the layer. What this is going to do is take the third uh, video file layer, and it's going to edit into what we want to actually be censored out, right? So if you hit Control and T at the same time, you can go into the uh, create title or layer or whatever this is called right and we're just going to create a nice little uh, box over the chat uh, and then we're going to throw this onto the third layer drag it all the way to the end and it's not blurred out or anything like that right now because the Gaussian blur is not set up. So if we just bump this up to 10, bang, there you go, censored chat. And uh, of course, you can also, you know, if we put this in the middle of the screen, uh, then we could actually use it, uh, you know, we could go into the motion and edit the position frame by frame so that we could actually censor out a specific image. You know, maybe you're playing like a, a, a game or you're doing a vlog video and somebody's face is in the background. Not that anybody cares about that stuff in YouTube anymore. And it, just needless to say, if you got edit out like a brand or something like that uh, you can pretty much just apply this to the entirety of whatever the project is anyways thanks for watching everybody hope you found this video helpful be sure to leave a like if you did sign and stay epic